Did you know that a regularly used drug like ibuprofen or acetylsalicylic acid could potentially harm your intestines? Yes, it's true. These drugs are commonly used worldwide for their pain-relieving and anti-inflammatory properties. Ibuprofen, a staple in many medicine cabinets, is frequently used to ease headaches, reduce fever, and manage chronic conditions such as arthritis. Acetylsalicylic acid, more commonly known as aspirin, shares many of these uses, but is also often employed in preventing heart attacks and strokes. While these drugs are generally safe when used appropriately, they are not without risks. And excess use can lead to serious gastrointestinal complications, including the potential for intestinal perforation. This is a serious condition where a hole forms in the wall of the gastrointestinal tract, which can lead to severe infections and require immediate medical attention. Stay tuned to find out how it can exacerbate certain diseases according to a study by researchers at Semmelweis University. A study by Semmelweis University researchers has shed light on the potential dangers of excessive use of ibuprofen and acetylsalicylic acid. The study indicates that these common medications when used in excess may cause intestinal perforation. This is a serious condition where a hole develops in your intestine, leading to a leakage of its contents into your abdominal cavity. This can cause severe abdominal pain, constipation, nausea, and fever. If not treated promptly, intestinal perforation can lead to life-threatening complications, such as peritonitis and sepsis. Moreover, the study also found that excessive use can exacerbate certain diseases, particularly those that affect the digestive system, like Crohn's disease and ulcerative colitis. These conditions can lead to serious complications, including severe dehydration, anemia, and even bowel cancer. So, it's clear that while ibuprofen and acetylsalicylic acid are commonly used to manage pain and inflammation, they should be taken with caution. But don't worry, there are recommended dosages to ensure safe use. Let's dive into that next. It's crucial to adhere to the recommended dosage of these drugs to avoid any potential harm. When it comes to adults, the typical dose of ibuprofen is between 200 to 400 milligrams, taken every 4 to 6 hours. It's important to remember though that the maximum dose in a day should not exceed 1200 milligrams. On the other hand, for children under 16 years old, the dosage is different. It's usually determined by their weight, not their age. For every kilogram of a child's weight, you should administer about 5 to 10 milligrams. But remember, just like in adults, there's a maximum limit. You should not exceed 40 milligrams per kilogram in a day. These dosages are designed to provide relief while minimizing the risk of side effects. Overdosing can lead to serious health complications, including intestinal perforation, as we've discussed earlier. Now that we know the safe dosages, let's talk about how long it takes for ibuprofen to take effect. Ibuprofen is a versatile drug, but how long does it take to work? This is a common question, and the answer can vary. Typically, ibuprofen starts working within 20 to 30 minutes after oral ingestion, providing relief from a variety of symptoms. Commonly, ibuprofen is used to alleviate pain, reduce inflammation, and bring down a fever. It's a go-to for headaches, toothaches, back pain, arthritis, and menstrual cramps. But remember, it's not just about pain relief. Ibuprofen is also an anti-inflammatory drug so it can be used to reduce swelling in conditions such as rheumatoid arthritis and sprains. However, the time it takes for ibuprofen to take effect can depend on several factors. For instance, it may work faster if you take it on an empty stomach, but this may increase the risk of stomach irritation. Remember, moderation is key. Always use these drugs as recommended by a healthcare professional. 